Terry Fox Marathon at school. What's a Terry Fox run? The Terry Fox Marathon is when we raise money for cancer research every year. Can I learn more about Terry Fox? Sure. sure. Watch, Watch this, this video. video. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to Everybody Loves English with me, your English teacher, Mr. Nick. Today's video is a mini biography, a first of many more mini biographies to come. I'm going to be talking to you about famous people that we should all know about, especially if you live in Canada or the United States. Today's mini biography is a special one as we will be talking about one of my favorite people ever. Many of you may not have ever heard of him before, but us Canadians, we will forever have a special place in our hearts for this person. Today we talk about Terry Fox, a Canadian hero. Terry Fox was born on July 28, 1958. Originally from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Terry grew up in Port Coquitlam, British Columbia. High school sports were a very big part of his life. After high school, he went to university to study physical education. Sadly, doctors diagnosed him with bone cancer in 1977. This forced him to end his studies and focus on his health. Unfortunately for Terry, his right leg was amputated above the knee just a short while after he got that news. During his time in the hospital, he had an idea. He decided that he wanted to run across Canada. He believed that it would inform people about the suffering of cancer patients and he wanted to raise money for more cancer research. After his recovery, Terry was fitted with an artificial leg. He then spent 18 months running thousands of kilometers to prepare for what he called the Marathon of Hope. It was in St. John's, Newfoundland, at the beginning of his run on April 12, 1980, that he dipped his foot in the Atlantic Ocean. Terry's friend followed him using a motorhome while Terry ran along the highway. Remember, this is 1980. No Facebook, no Instagram, no Twitter, no mass social media to advertise or promote what he was doing. Starting off was very difficult because very few people knew about what he was doing. Despite that, he kept running. He was very determined to achieve his goal. Within a short period of time, crowds started to gather and cheer on this brave young man and donate money to his cause. Reports on his progress soon began to circulate the media. On September 1st, 1980, Terry's marathon ended near Thunder Bay, Ontario. Cancer had spread to his lungs and he could go no further. He had run for 143 days and covered 5,373 kilometers, which is equal to 3,300 miles. Canadians were extremely sad when they heard the news that Terry had to stop running because the cancer had spread. Sadly, Terry died on June 28, 1981. The entire country, everybody across Canada, truly mourned his death. In the years since Terry Fox died, numerous Terry Fox runs have raised hundreds of millions of dollars to support cancer research. Every year, these runs take place all over the world in over 60 countries. Before passing away, Terry Fox was made a Companion of the Order of Canada, a very high honor for any Canadian. To this day, Canadians continue to be inspired by Terry with the many awards that are still given in his name. Now here's a little homework. In the comments section below, I want you to write, in your opinion, what does it mean to be a hero? Can you give me some examples? Do you like to run? How far can you run? Have you ever participated in a marathon? And do you know the distance of a marathon? Finally, I want you to take a look at the map of Canada. It's a very big country. Can you even imagine trying to run across this country? 
Now think about Terry Fox trying to run across Canada from the Atlantic all the way to the Pacific on one leg. Wow. That's it for today. And I hope you enjoyed learning about Terry Fox, a true Canadian hero. If you did, please remember to hit subscribe and then go ahead and hit that little bell. Terry Fox pushed himself to run across Canada on one leg to accomplish something that seemed so impossible to many of us. Learning English might also feel impossible for some of you too. But I hope that today's lesson inspires you to be the best that you can be and to give it your best shot, even when you feel that learning English is impossible. And you know why? Because everybody loves English. Thank you, Terry Fox, and thanks to all of you for watching. See you soon. If you'd like to learn more about donating to the Terry Fox Foundation in order to help fund cancer research, please click on the link below in the description section. Thank you very much.